Yo, why are you comparing your, <laughs> that's comparing his mic to my to I'm my just making sure it looks I'm making sure it looks right. It's the same mic! I'm not trying to look like you know. <laughs> What is going on everybody? It's your boy Ehi Azokin and I am joined by two close friends, my boys from the Hot One Out podcast. Go. We got our boy Primo Jeez. and my boy Ty Guy Hall. I'm so happy to have y'all. What y'all saying? You're good? Always. Yeah, I'm always. Happy, always, happy, always, happy always stuff. It. Well, in today's group Q&A session, we have the topic, what is an alpha male and what do we do about them in today's age? All right, so for today's topic about alpha males, we wanna to come to the definition of what an alpha male is to y'all. So I'm gonna start with you, Ty. What do you think an alpha male is? Okay, so after doing my research, I have realized, cause sometimes, <laughs> honestly, you think you know what a word means, you don't know what it means. Yeah, I so um, how I define an alpha male, someone that is very confident, mm -hmm. Um, a sh like sure of themselves, yes. um, results oriented, get gets things done, can motivate other people. Um, someone who like really like shines bright in like a group or like a crowd of people. Yeah, I feel that. What yeah. about you, Primo? Uh, I mean, something similar to that. Like I feel like an alpha male is the uh, obviously the one who leads the pack. Yeah. Um, like he doesn't shy away from adversity. Yeah. Like he looks at it, he's confident, you know what I'm saying? Like people like, like he attracts people around him because of his leadership skills, obviously. Absolutely. Like everything basically tries to dip with the hell I know before while we were recording, you said that you kind of saw yourself as an alpha male. Yeah, like I sort of consider myself, like I consider myself, what I try to do is obviously you are who you hang out with, right? Yeah. And I consider myself to be like alpha. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm saying that I'm, like, I'm the alpha male of the group, but I feel like I choose to hang out with other alphas in order to make the pack stronger. And it rubs off on like, yeah, all these kind you of things. I mean? Understood. I understood. Those are both really good ways of thinking about alpha male. I don't know, for me personally, I feel like the word, like you guys are describing a really confident guy, like Super a confident, confident man. Yeah, and I feel like the word alpha male is kind of outdated. Like I have a little bit of a pessimistic type of definition towards an alpha okay, male. Okay, okay. I mean, everything you said was all accurate, yeah. but some people take that to an extreme where people, it, it, it bleeds into a lot of toxic masculinity. Absolutely. You know what yeah. that's, so, where I, that's what I initially thought, like, alpha and alpha yeah, was. I feel like today, like, back, maybe back in the day, you guys, the definition is like 100% accurate, but then I mean, in this day and age, especially with social media, everybody yeah. trying to put on their belts faces and Absolutely. stuff. Yeah. I feel that, what's it? People just push that to the extreme and it becomes toxic in a sense. So I kind of want to talk about today was like, where do you put the limit? And there should be a new term for alpha male. You know okay. what I'm saying? Sounds good. Sounds good. So I guess we can start talking about is how awesome, how alpha males can be toxic. And um, one of the things I can see is definitely social media, Instagram, because you have a lot of guys literally, all they do is post selfie fix. Like, yeah, if you have a nice body, cool. Yeah. Sure, like you're proud of it. But like if every single pic is like a yeah. shirtless pic, or you at the beach or at the pool, just yeah. always trying to like flex. Yeah. Like, where, well, where, yeah. Do you, we, where do you get that? Everyone can see that it's a flex. Yeah. Everyone can see that it's exactly. a flex. Exactly. I don't know. Like, I feel like the whole toxic thing goes back to like masculinity, not really the word alpha male. Because, like, at the end of the day, it's mm -hmm. like people look back at like, look, they look at three young men, right? Like, yeah. we're not supposed to cry, we're not supposed to have mental yeah. health issues. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't mean that we're not alpha males. It just means that we're like, you know, our masculine side that we have to hold on to that, exactly. right? Understood. I feel like going back to the whole alpha male thing and like the toxicness, yes, I get it. But I feel like people need to understand that like a good alpha and in a pack of good alpha needs to understand who's struggling, who's not struggling. And he's going to be there for the ones who are struggling. And he's going to be the, the ones who are trying to climb, you know what I mean? For sure. Yeah. Like if I'm going through stuff and I'm going through mental health issues, you know what I'm saying? You need to have friends. Just because you have friends out there, you know what I'm saying? Like they're the ones who have to push you in order to, you know, get over it or, you know, get help. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah like, I don't, like I don't know. Like it's a very like fine line, but I feel like it goes more towards the definition of what people think masculinity is in this society. Sure. Yeah. Those sick points, I actually agree with all that. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, because I feel like, especially, like I had conversations this with some friends earlier in the week and even today, where people will clown on guys for having mental health issues. Like people are like, well, guys shouldn't cry. Cancel. Guys shouldn't be uh, open cancel. up with their feelings. I'm like, I hate that stuff. you can still be an alpha. You can still be yeah, like yeah, you can, a yeah. dominant person, but still also be vulnerable to me. Exactly. The fact you have the courage to be vulnerable is even more is, who is that, that, that in my opinion that speaks to confidence if you can like Thank cry you. in front exactly. of people or you can like really share your, like your mental health issues or your like your deepest emotions mm -hmm. you're a confident person because you're not afraid of how like someone's going to perceive you or negatively perceive uh, you exactly. yeah 
And I feel like um, in terms of like the toxic traits of masculinity, I feel like it can show up differently depending on what type of environment you're in. So like if you're at work, I feel like toxic masculinity can be like aggression towards other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like you're trying to lead people, but like you're not leading them in effective ways or like you're verbally abusive. And that can also show up in relationships as well. Yeah. Because yeah. like you feel like you need to be so dominant that now you're trying to put people down. In your life, like have you ever dealt with like a toxic alpha male? Honestly, uh, I think once, yes, for okay. sure. Um, um, it was like an employee, it was someone that I worked with, it was like, like a person that was higher up over me. And um, he definitely, like as soon as I heard alpha male, I was like, that is my definition of what an alpha male is. <laughs> and he has, he has some amazing qualities, yeah. but he also has some very trash qualities as well. Like, what are the trash qualities? The way he treated staff was like, it just, it wasn't conducive to like people feeling good all the time. Or like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if that makes any sense. Like, this one's a little more personal. Like, I feel like we all, like, sort of understand, like, cause we, like, you know, I said we hang out with a group of alphas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, there was, you know, obviously with a group of alphas, there's always used to be clashes. Yeah, for sure. some of us were toxic, some of us were toxic. I don't know you're getting out. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't want to go through two people. I get it, I get it, I get you it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all go through our phases of growing up. For you know sure. Like, I'm yeah. not saying that person's like that now, mm -hmm. but, like, at the time, like, that's how I felt towards, you know, like, that's how, that's how I viewed a toxic alpha. So what traits did that toxic person show? That like, toxic alpha? It's like, it's very, very secretive. You know, oh, they're not very trusting. understood. Yeah. Understood, um, yeah, for sure. Aggression. Yeah. Aggression. Yeah. yeah, you're right, you're right. Aggression's yeah. huge, I feel. Because I feel like, which is the definition you also give you added to, which I really like, is someone like an alpha is looking after. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they're kind of also like a caregiver. Yeah. But I feel like with toxic alphas, it's like, oh, it's me, myself, and I, uh, yeah. and like, I gotta be ahead of everyone before I gotta think about anybody else. Yeah. Which, but I like how modern, how you see a modern day alpha is more so like a caregiver because you, you got to make sure your friends are okay. I no, mean, for sure. Like, yeah. if, if you sure. say, oh, this is, a, this is my posse, this is my group, these are the people I hang with, like, you want them to all be at good places, like mentally, physically, yeah. Yeah. emotionally, spiritually, etc. So I find that. Like this, this, this example. I don't think that's an alpha. I feel like Ooh. a lot of people claim to be alpha males, but they're really beta males. Like I'm talking about, they're very insecure. Yeah. And because they're Absolutely. insecure, yeah. and because they're insecure, sorry, um, they just try to just mask how they're feeling yeah. by lashing out onto others. That's where you get aggression. Yeah, that's comes true. From. I have a question. Do you guys think that alpha males always know that they're an alpha male or, do they, or that people view them as an alpha male? It's two ways. So I feel like mm -hmm. some alpha males don't know they're an alpha Understood. because of the confidence that like they just know what they're about. Yeah. But they don't, it doesn't turn into arrogance. But people, obviously, if you sound confident, you gravitate towards that person. For sure, for sure. So I find there's that class. But there's some type of people who know they're an alpha, they don't abuse it. Like for your yeah, case, like yeah. you don't abuse the fact that you know like people people gravitate towards you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like when you're that type of person, because being an alpha male, like I feel like uh, uh, people have it in them, yeah. but not everyone knows they have it in them. But Absolutely. once you see it in yourself, you don't really lose like sight out of it. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like alpha males, like good alpha males, also realize that like yeah, you're an alpha male, but that's something you shouldn't be bragging about. You go about your day, you yeah. take care of your business. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters, right? Like the alpha male is basically like the captain of the team. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Especially if you're not, a, if you're For in a sure. group of friends and there's one alpha and there's like one main alpha, he's the captain of the team. The captain of the team takes care of business, makes sure everything's ran properly, makes sure everyone's okay, makes sure everyone follows suit. You know what I'm saying? And puts yeah. himself in the best possible position, right? And he's leading the trajectory of where the group's gonna exactly. go. Exactly. Realistically. Yeah. And by leading that, he understands that, like, yeah, I may be leading it, but I'm not. I'm not really better than you guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because this isn't going anywhere unless everyone does a job. No. So I wanted to ask you guys the question. Yeah. Because you said you you see yourself as an alpha male, yeah. and for us. We kind of see ourselves as alphas in in the modern varying day. degrees. Yeah. So I want to say like what what traits do you have that makes you feel like you're an alpha? I'm gonna ask you this too. For okay. sure. Um, I think I see like natural leadership abilities in myself, mm -hmm. uh, confidence, um, someone that like shines in like a crowd or a group of people. But like where I see certain qualities I'm now in and out from that I don't see myself is like extremely high confidence yeah. and able to like lead a team no matter no matter what the circumstances. I feel like I kind of mold myself depending on what kind of situation I'm in. Yeah. And I feel like that's not really what an alpha does. Like no matter what the situation, they can take charge and do it effectively. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know so for me, I'm more like you said, I'm kinda of, I'm kinda of like a caregiver. Like I'm always 
be emotional support to people, mental support to people, trying to give me advice where I can. But also, if I need to, I'll take up, step up, and take the leadership role because at the end of the day, I don't want to just be in a group where we're just wandering from place to place, not knowing where we're going. Like, if we needed, if we need a plan, I want to like at least help be a part of the plan there. But when I ask you, Primo, how do you see yourself as an alpha? Like, I feel like because I have a lot of confidence. Like, I have a natural ability to make things quick, you know, like, understand things, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying that I do them the best, but I understand them really quickly, right? Like, Int- intellectual thinker, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, he's yeah. a high-level thinker. He's like, a high-level We're thinker. giving those to now. Yeah. I'm gonna say, go high check out thinker. the Odd One Out podcast to hear his thoughts. You got some ridiculous thoughts there. Yeah, for sure. My bad. No, it's okay. Um, I also think that, like, yeah, like, I can be sort of, like, a lone wolf, too, you know what I mean? But, like, in the case of where a friend needs to talk to me, like, I can... I always tell my friends, if you guys want to come talk about something, let's talk about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like that's something that sort of, like, I don't want to say that it makes me an alpha male, but it's like, I've never shy away from the hard conversation because I don't want my pack feeling that if they're going through something, I want them to understand that, yo, if we can talk about this, mm-hmm. we can figure it out. Cause you know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of people, especially like a lot of people who think they're alphas, they drown themselves in a cup of water, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I try to spread that mentality across my pack. There's no need to be drowning yourself in a cup of water. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, sure. if there's something going on, let's talk about it. Let's make a plan to make it better. Yeah. And, and, like, you know, let's get it moving. You know what I mean? That makes sure. absolute sense. I just want to get to the end of this video. So I just want to give you guys some time. Talk about the All One Out podcast and tell them, look, I'm in a couple of episodes. You better go friend, check that out. Let's so, you know, let's go. Go. <laughs> tell, tell, tell the audience what you guys do on the podcast and why it's so significant today. Um, we do a couple different things. Sometimes it's like us just talking about regular like stuff, being guys, being like early 20s, like just regular stuff, everyday stuff. Yeah. Sometimes we'll bring guests on like yourself and we'll kind of interview them uh, depending on if they're doing YouTube or media yeah. or whatever it is and just try to get different perspectives. Yeah, yeah basically what we do like at the Odd One Out is that, like we try to create a safe space for people to come and like share their opinions yeah. that they don't really, sh- like they, they aren't really com- common and like they don't have a lot of confidence to share. In, in public, you know what I mean? Because like, I feel like in society, there's a lot of issues because humans don't take the time to understand each other. Yeah. So if they come to the auto right. now and like, you know, like it's a safe space or we listen and we try to understand, like that's a way to make society better little by little, you know what I mean? Nah, that's super great. I want to just say thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you for having us, man. We appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out the Odd One Out podcast. I'm going to leave the link at the top of the description down below. That is all I got for y'all today. Make sure y'all are staying safe. And as always, easy. So I'll just edit in the last bit. I realized I forgot to do the outro for the video that you just watched. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much again for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell notification. I'll leave the next video I upload. Make sure you smash the like button because it really helps and supports the channel. And if you have a question you want me to answer, make sure you leave the question in the comment section down below. Or, you know, hit me up on Instagram. DM me your question. I can get to it in the next video. That's all I got for y'all today. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next videos coming. As always, easy.